We are going to start today in child's pose. So when you're ready, make your way into child's pose. And you know, this is our first thing we're doing. So just make those knees wherever you want them. If you want them together or a bit apart. And maybe initially your arms are relaxed. Or maybe you're ready to have engagement and have the elbows off the mat. I like to sway side to side just a tiny bit as I work into my hips a little. And gradually begin to make this more active so that your elbows do come off the mat if that's available and you spread your fingers wide and use your arms to push your heels, I'm sorry, your bum closer to your heels. And pull your belly up and in as if it's going to hollow out and create space away from your thighs. Maybe you like to come up onto your fingertips if that range of motion is available. And you might even walk your fingers close together overhead, stretching even more into your shoulder joints. Begin to walk your hands over to the right, taking a side stretch. I usually try to keep my left arm pretty straight and I might bend my right arm a lot so that I can use a little pressure there to kind of push my left ribs open. As you're ready, make your way into that stretch on the other side. center. Take three more breaths in your child pose, really beginning to tap in to your breathing. Make them slow and even. And when you're next ready to inhale, come forward onto your hands and knees. We'll begin cat-cow movement. Exhaling as you round the spine. Inhaling as you open the chest, drop the belly, pull the shoulder blades together. Continue that on your own breath. to kind of stir your spine so that we kind of come into this rounding stirring motion in the spine I let my neck kind of go along with it doing what it will as it opens up I'm gonna just take that one direction I don't know three four or five times maybe not counting just kind of going with it and then I'll switch and take that swirl or that turn in the other direction so one way feels like kind of the odd way to me that's okay And then when you're finished, come back to stillness. Open your eyes. Find that nice steady tabletop. Pull the belly in. Create that super flat spine. And see how much of a super flat spine you can keep as you reach the right arm and left leg out. Pulsing to the sky for three, two, one. Knee and elbow together and find a pulse here for three. Hi, Mary. Two. One, reach out, pulse up, three, don't forget that core, two, one, together for three pulses, two, one. Third time's the last one, raising out for three, two, one, bring it together for three, two, one. Back to your hands and knees, take two rounds of cat-cow and resetting the spine. And then come to stillness, find that really strong and steady tabletop. Other side, left arm, right leg, pulse it up. Three, two, one. 
two, one, pulse it together. Three, two, one, two more rounds. Up, together. Up, together. One more, I don't know, did I lose track? I did, didn't I? All right, back to tabletop. Couple rounds of cat cow and then take yourself right into downward facing dog when you're ready. You can't count on me to count to three, I guess. <laughs> Maybe finding a little bit of wiggling out in your down dog. Good morning, are you joining us? Hi, welcome. My name's Amy, I'll be leading us today. Just find a spot somewhere. Maybe you like some sun, maybe not. Together. From your down dog, let's look forward, come up onto your toes, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then step forward to the top of the mat, dropping your heels down and then rounding it up one vertebra at a time. Let's come up to standing, reach the arms up overhead, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands past heart center, fold forward. Stay in your forward fold, knees bent as much as you might like. Drop your head, maybe nodding. Drop your hips several more inches, round it up as you come up to standing. Reach the arms up overhead, maybe look up, belly in. Exhale, pour forward. Bend those knees as much as you like. Drop the hips significantly, round it up, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. From here, let's halfway lift up. So maybe we're straightening the legs all the way, hands to the shins, pull the shoulder blades together, belly up and in. Stay there, pull the belly up and in even more. Create that flat back like you did in your tabletop. On your exhale, palm the mat, step back to the top of your push-up, plank pose. Drop the right knee and come into your side plank on the right, reaching the left arm toward, or the right arm, left arm towards me, towards me, fingers towards me, overhead, yes. There you go. If you have the stability, crunch the knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee. Three, because we're doing three today, so I can maybe keep track. And two, and three. Back to your plank, top of your push-up. Drop the opposite knee, come into your side plank. Reach the left arm or right arm, I don't know which side we want, overhead. Bring it together, knee to elbow, elbow to knee, three times. Back to your plank. Hips high, down dog, walk your feet in if you need to. Find your nice down dog posture. Take a nice inhale deep and exhale. On your next inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. Bend and stack open to the side. Yeah, breathe. Bring your foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Drop the back heel, reach the arms up overhead. Turn your pinky fingers in, maybe bring the palms together, maybe shift the gaze up. Release your hands back down to the ground. Hug your knee into your chest, plank with the right knee hugged in. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, bend and stack open to the side. On an exhale, bring your foot to the top of the mat. Right heel down. Inhale as you come up, warrior one. Rotate the pinky fingers in. Maybe push the palms together. Maybe shift your gaze up. Bring your hands to the mat. Hug that left knee in towards your chest in your plank. Down dog. Whew. Inhale the right leg up. 
Bend and stack open to the side. Bring your foot to the top of the mat. Warrior two, so this time you're gonna windmill your arms up and around, opening into your warrior two. Gaze out over your front fingers, those are your right fingers. Yep, that front knee, track it toward the pinky toe side. Nice. Windmill your hands down, hug that right knee into your chest and your plank. Down dog. Other side, left leg up, three-legged. Bend and stack, open up. Bring your foot to the top of the mat. Warrior two, back heel down, windmill the arms up and around, gaze out over the left hand towards me. Left knee tracking toward the pinky toe side. Windmill those hands down, tuck the left knee into your chest and your plank. Down dog. Look to the top of the mat, travel forward. Maybe you come up onto your toes and keep the hips nice and high with the knees bent as much as needed and then feet together, top of the mat. Drop the hips, chair pose as we come up. So keep the hips low like you're sitting in a chair, arms reach overhead. Rotate the pinkies in. Maybe the palms come together. Maybe you gaze up. Stand straight. Right, those are all maybes we add. It all makes it harder. Find your breath. Tree pose, really ground through the left toes, maybe spreading them wide. Right foot is either here, like a kickstand, knee out to the side, or at the calf. Skip the knee, maybe you bring it all the way in to the thigh. Hands at heart center. Maybe we reach the arms up overhead. Maybe we rotate the pinkies in. Maybe you bring the palms together. Maybe if you feel really sneaky, you're gonna look up at your palms. Yeah, back row is showing us. Hands to heart center as you come out of that with control, grounding into the right foot, finding your tree on the other side, wherever you're at, right? Maybe we reach the arms overhead. Rotate the pinkies in, possibly palms together. Maybe your gaze shifts up. Belly should be in. And release with control. Nice work. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale and fold forward. Halfway lift up. Find that really flat back. Let's take an extra moment here in this half lift. It gets such a small amount of time normally. On your exhale, palm the mat. Step back to the top of your push up. Right knee to right arm, maybe it touches. Back to the top of your push-up plank. Other side, left knee to left arm. Back to the top of your push-up, hips high, down dog. Walk your feet in if they're too far out from plank. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, bend and stack open to the side. Bring your foot to the top of the mat. High lunge, so keep that back heel off the ground as you inhale and reach the arms up overhead. Rotate the pinkies in. Bring the palms together, maybe. Maybe shift your gaze up. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Right knee hugs in towards your chest and your plank. Step it back down low. Left leg high, three-legged. Bend, stack, open up. Bring your foot to the top of the mat, high lunge again. Back heel is off the ground. Reach up, come up, chest nice and high. Pinkies rotate in, maybe the palms come together. Maybe your gaze shifts up. Release to the ground. All right, y'all know what to do. We're hugging the knee in as we come into plank. So we're sneaking our core work in and then down dog. It's actually not very sneaky, right? Find your breath. Right leg high, three-legged. Bend and stack, open up. Reach those toes out to the side as you ground into your right hand. Big side stretch. Bring your foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Inhale your way up. This time, we're gonna take a side stretch, right hand 
down towards the ground, left arm reaching over, reach that back hamstring to the sky. Hands to the ground, hug the right knee in, plank, pause, down dog. Left leg high, three-legged, bend and step, open up. Step to the top of the mat, high lunge. Inhale your way up. Keep that back hamstring long, reaching to the sky, stretch to the left. Hands down, hug that left knee in. Down dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Let's stay in a forward fold for a moment. Knees might be bent a lot or not at all or a little bit or generously. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe you like to have your hands grounded. Maybe you'd like to hold on to your elbows or make a connection with your legs. Whatever you're doing, find your breath. Now that you've found your breath, pull your belly up and in, making space between your belly and your thighs so that your ribs can come closer to your thighs. If you have a bind, release your hands to the ground, bend the knees pretty generously, round it up as you come up to standing. Let's bring hands to heart center. Other balance, we'll find dancing Shiva with the knee bent and the hands rounded. So really spread the left toes wide, find your balance. And then bring the right knee to about 90 degrees to the hip. Right hand to the hip, left hand crosses outside of the knee and then find your twist. See if you can point that right elbow right behind you and look over your back shoulder. You end up looking away from me, yeah? Pull the belly in. Yeah, that's it. If we fall, that's okay. We just come back. We'll release and find that on the other side. Ground into the right toes. Bring that left leg up. Left hand to the left hip, point the elbow back, right hand crosses, and then use your hands for a bit of leverage so that you can come into your twist. down dog. Right leg high, three-legged, bend and stack, open up. If you would like to flip your dog from here, then you could do so. That top foot coming to the outside. Maybe you keep that left leg straight or bend it and open up the heart. Mm -hmm. Come back to three-legged with control, reaching that leg to the sky. Step to the top of the mat. Keep that left hand planted and twist open to the right. All right, here's where we're gonna make it hard. Really think about grounding into your legs, keeping your twist as you come up into a twisted lunge. Yeah. I want you to come back just as softly, land super softly on that left hand. Good job. Release that top hand to the ground, drop the back knee, side plank on the left, maybe with the right leg in the air. Oh, bring that knee and elbow together if it's possible, and then release out. Two more, because I'm doing three in the hopes I can keep track. No guarantees. <laughs> back to plank and then downward facing dog. Other side. Left leg high, three-legged. Bend and stack, open up. Flip or stay in that bend and stack. Yeah, you might look towards me in those flips. Aha! <laughs> Come back to your three-legged with control. Reach that left leg to the sky. Step to the top of the mat. Keep your right hand down. Twist open to the left. Get your stability. We're coming up from here. Push, push, push into those legs. Use your core strength as you come right into your twist. Nice job. 
Don't worry, we'll wait for you, Cheryl. Right hand down, soft, 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 landing. Left hand down, drop the back knee, side plank on your knee, on the right. Perhaps three times, connect that elbow and knee, up to you. Not speedy, nice and controlled with your breath. Back to plank, back to down dog. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend and stack. Stay or flip, you decide. Back to center, three-legged. Step to the top of the mat. Ground your back heel. We're coming into extended side angle. That might mean you're gonna play around with your right hand staying on the ground as you open up, or you might choose to come up and go ahead and bring the forearm to the thigh and open into your side angle. That depends on where your range is at or what you're feeling like. Yes, top hand toward me, fingertips towards me. So that your arm is, yes, trying to lay on your ear. Beautiful, pull the belly in. We always need that, don't we? Release hands down to the ground. Hug that right knee into your chest in your plank. Back to down dog. Right leg high. Bend and stack, open up. Lift if you would like. Nice, uh-huh, you're looking at me, so that's good. Come back to your three-legged. Step to the top of the mat. Side angle, so ground that back foot. Left hand can stay down or come to the forearm. Other arm overhead. One long line from your fingertips. They're all on <laughs> The left side. Left side? Yeah. Here it comes. Some of y'all on the left side. Oh, okay. What do you mean on the left side? I don't know. We're going to keep it straight. Okay. Now we're together? Now we're together. So we all have to pull our bellies in touch. And look around. Release hands down to the ground. Hug the left knee in and your plank. Down dog. Travel to the top of the mat. If you're playing around with floating or stepping, do so. Maybe you're tiptoeing forward, feet together. Let's stay in that forward fold again. Knees bent generously or not, allowing ourselves to really release the low back and hamstrings. Find your breath. If you have a bind, release your hands down to the ground, drop the knees super generously, come up into your chair. Arms work to be straight, elbows turned in. Maybe palms together, maybe you look up, belly in, and then stand straight. Those are just the babies. Hands to your hips. Bring the right leg up at that 90 degree. We're not twisting this time. Instead, you'll either, with fingertips only, please, hold on to the kneecap, or you'll slide on down the shin and take your peace finger big toe wrap, and you're somewhere on this hamstring path, right? And if you have that hand, so take your fingers inside the toe, yes, so that rotates that shoulder bone open instead, tall spine. All right, whatever you have a hold of, that leg is coming out to the side. Oh, the teapots, teapots, teapots. Back to center, here's where it gets challenging. Both hands to the hips, keep the leg in the air as high as you can, point your toes towards me, hold it up there, five, four, three, pulse it, two, one, and release down. All right, wiggle that out. Good news, good news, you got another side, you get to try again. Left knee at about 90. Maybe you're holding on to the knee, fingertips, wide fingertips so that you're not, you know, sinking into it. Maybe you find your toe. These fingers are in the inside of that toe. Mm -hmm. That rotates the shoulder bone open instead of down. Somewhere, somewhere, we're on this path. Breathe. 
knees, try to look at somebody who's not moving or something that's not moving. Leg out to the side if it's available. It is somewhere. the top of your push-up. Plank pose, side plank on the left. You are on the right for you. I'm going to face the other way. You can decide if you're going to drop the knee or come onto the outside edge of your foot. Both feet down, feet stacked, feet up. Lots and lots and lots of options. It doesn't matter which side. We're going to go and do the other side next, so it really does not matter. Release to plank. And take that side plank the other direction. Whatever one you did first, just do the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, release back down. All right, I know I lost y'all a little bit on that, right? Okay, right, left, side plank, side plank. I, don't know. I want you to think about in your side planks, this rainbow spine idea. Whether you have your knee down or your foot, the ribs are reaching to the sky like you're trying to create a rainbow here. Yes? Or here. It's rib, ribs and, and hip to the sky. Or if your leg is up, it's still ribs to the sky. Like a rainbow. Because some of us are here. We'll take a child's pose now after that. Take a child's pose. Find your breath. From your child pose, return to plank. Side plank right and left with those rainbow ribs. You decide what your legs are doing, rainbow ribs. You decide what that top arm is doing, still rainbow ribs. Take it the other direction. Rainbow ribs. Release the plank and then down dog. It's nice and hard. We're changing it up just a tiny bit. Right leg up, three legged. Bring that leg forward for pigeon. So we're going to turn the knee out and then I like to slide my back leg back so that I can sit down. Maybe you can sit down, maybe not, right? And then we'll lean forward, whether you're coming onto your forearms or your hands. You can stack fists so that you can rest your forehead. Stack hands or come all the way down. We're all going to be in a different place for this. Five more of my breaths. I'll do them for you so you can think about sinking in. Begin to make your way upright. We'll stay in our upright pigeon if it's available to us. Just for a couple of breaths. If it's not available to you, swing that back leg forward now. If it is available, we're gonna pull the chest high. And now we're all gonna swing that back leg forward. Legs out straight, round it down one vertebra at a time. 
Reach the arms up overhead, take a long body stretch. Place your feet on the ground, fingertips behind your ears. Options here, we're hugging the knees and the face towards each other, right? Maybe you're gonna come down to your feet each time as you release. Maybe you're gonna lengthen your legs out along the mat and then crunch it together. You decide. If two legs are too many, then do one leg at a time. I'm not even counting these. <laughs> you may be happy or not happy to know that. Slow and controlled in our yoga core work. taking a vinyasa here. We haven't had any of those yet. Step it back to plank. Stay on the toes or on the knees. Lower. Inhale. Up dog or cobra, whichever one you're doing at the moment. And then we're taking it to downward facing dog for the other side. Reach the left leg to the sky. Bring it forward for your pigeon stretch. Find the place you need to be, and when you're ready, fold forward to whatever degree you're folding. You love this one, yeah? <laughs> Focus on your breath. Let your breath help your body to release. Let your breath help your mind to release from this stretch. Five more breaths. This is our, oh, a little bit over midway stretch we're doing. Begin to come upright. If it's available to you, we're staying upright for a few breaths. It's a different pigeon stretch, right? It's a big back bend, big stretch into the back thigh. Tall chest, belly in. And then we'll all swing our leg around to the top of the mat. Maybe give yourself a little hug. Know what's coming now, don't you? Who knows? Boat pose, boat pose. You decide, fingertips only if you need to hold on. Squeeze the knees towards each other, ankles towards each other, chest nice and high. Beautiful. Maybe you're working on straightening out. Maybe you're not. <laughs> For another five, four, chest high, three, breathe, two, one, come over and through your vinyasa. I'll know what a vinyasa is or you're with me and we lower all the way or part way, up dog or cobra, down dog. All right, let's move again. Let's move again. Right leg high to the sky, bend and stack. We're not staying there. Instead, right knee to right arm. Inhale, bring it back up, three-legged, back to the sky. Right knee, left arm, across the body. Inhale, reach it high. Step to the top of the mat. Warrior one, drop that back knee, not knee, back heel. Reach the arms up overhead, pinkies turned in. 
maybe palm together, maybe your gaze is up. Stay there, stay there. Open up into your warrior two. Yep, track that front knee towards your pinky toe side. Mm -hmm. Opens up the hip. Flip the front palm, let's come into peaceful warrior. Reaching that arm overhead. Think about that rainbow spine right now, that's on the right. Extended side angle. Many of us will come onto our forearms here. Other arm reach overhead. All right. That hand that's on the forearm or the forearm hand, hold that open like you're holding something fantastic on a tray and you do not want to let it go. Drop the left hand down to the ground. Pop that back heel up. Keep twisting as you open to the right. Ground into those feet. We're coming up into our twist from here. Twisted lunge, nice and slow as you come up. Can't see you guys, so I'll have faith. We're gonna untwist, stay in your high lunge. Reach the arms up, pinkies turn in. Maybe palms together, maybe gaze shift up. Ooh, that's a balance. Hands down to the ground. Keep that right knee tucked in. Do it, do it, do it. You're in plank, right knee tucked in for three. Two, one, down dog. <sighs> Remember all those times they were like, down dog is a relaxing posture. That's when it is. <sighs> Left leg high to the sky. Bend and step, open up. Knee to the same arm. Inhale, lengthen it back out to the sky. Cross the body, knee to the opposite arm. Find that twist, maybe you can connect. Inhale it back up. Step to the top of the mat. Warrior one is first. Back heel should be grounded in our warriors. Reach the arms overhead. Pinkies turned in. Maybe palms together. Maybe you look up. Open up warrior two. See why I say all, while I say all that, you guys are stuck in warrior, right? Flip the front palm. Peaceful warrior. Other way, yes, yes, yes. We're headed there though, we are. Extended side angle, remember you're holding something good on that tray, don't let it drop. Very nice, active through your fingers, energy out the fingertips, push. Drop the right hand to the ground, back heel pops up, keep twisting to the left. Come up into your lunge with these twisted arms, twisted trunk, make it nice and slow and controlled. Unwind so you're in high lunge. This is a long lunge for me. Yay. Pinkies in. Maybe palms together. Maybe gaze up. Release your hands to the ground. Hog that left knee into your chest in your plank for three, two, one, down dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Drop your hips. Round it up. Come up to standing. Hands to heart center or by your side. Find your breath. standing staff, maybe you can have your arms reaching overhead as you bring that hip forward knee to 90. We're combining a bunch. Here we go. Dancing Shiva. Hands connected or open or all the way to the foot. We'll turn it back to center. Both hands to the hips. Point your toe towards me. Here we go. Showed mercy, we didn't do those hand to big toe on that. Oh, that's enough. 
We'll start with tree on the left. Whatever tree you're doing, whatever you're doing with your arms, make it your own. your hands out to down dog. Okay. Right leg high, three-legged, then in stack. Last time to flip your dog if you're doing that on this side. Nice, nice, nice. Come back with control. Right knee to right arm, wave it out, maybe touch. Inhale, lengthen it back up. Right knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, lengthen it back out. Knee to opposite arm, keep it forward. Straighten out the leg, drop the foot on the ground. Ground into the right hand, open up into your fallen triangle. Think about those rainbow ribs, so try to reach your ribs to the sky. Hand back down to the ground, sweep that leg to the sky. Step to the top of the mat for warrior one. Maybe right shoulder is working to be on the inside of your right knee, but don't let that right hip jut out to the side. Keep it in. As you come up, unwind and open up into your warrior two. Back heel down. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Back up to your peaceful warrior. Straighten the front leg, triangle. This is our first and only time in triangle. Taking your hand wherever you'd like that to be. Make sure that front knee is not locked. It has a tiny bit of softness. Top hand reaches to the sky. Yes. Drop your top hand to the ground. We're coming into that twisted lunge. So back heel pops up, front knee bends, keep twisting open to the right. Side, one more flow, left leg high, three-legged bend and stack, and then open up or keep going into your flip dog if you'd like, is what I meant to say. Go 
Come back out with control. Left leg is high. Are we on the left leg high? I hope so. Same arm. Knee to the same arm. Bring it high, three-legged. Knee to the nose. Maybe it can connect. Bring it high, three-legged. Cross the body. Touching the other side or trying to, then straighten out. Leg to the ground. Back heel comes down. Open up into a tall and triangle. Rainbow wrist. Come back to your three-legged. See how much control you can keep as you sweep that left leg high. Step to the top of the mat. Warrior one. Interlace your fingers the odd way, the way you wouldn't normally choose to. Back heels down in your warrior one. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, humble your warrior. Reach the arms overhead. Maybe your gaze shifts to your back foot. Heels down. Yep. As you come up, open up into your warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Toes pointed towards me. Knee pointed towards the pinky toe. Mm -hmm. Come back up into your peaceful warrior. Straighten the front leg. Our one and only triangle, reaching the spine long and then reaching your hand to the sky. Very nice. If you are hyperextending or locking the front knee, push, push, push into your front big toe to help take that lock out. Into our twist, right hand down, back heel pops up. Keep going, twist to the left. Come up into your twisted lunge. Unwind, high lunge. And we're coming forward for that warrior three, whether you have to take a step or you can, nope, not quite, come into your warrior three. Arms of your choice here, arms of your choice, okay? Maybe that right foot doesn't touch as you come forward, finding the knee or finding the toe. Out to the side, keep it sort of brief. Back to center, back through warrior three first. Land super softly on that back foot. Reach the arms up overhead in your lunge. Ground your hands. Hug that left knee into your ribs. Hug it in, hug it in, down dog. Our second round of pigeon stretch. Reach the right leg high. Bring that right leg forward for your pigeon. Okay, we're gonna relax forward again. We're gonna stay for 10 breaths. Use your breath work to help you open up that hip. Begin to come upright. Use your hands to help you come upright. Stay in your tall pigeon. Some of you might like to reach back and find your foot. Maybe all of us would like to, right? Some of us can't. We'll release the foot if we have it. Swing that back leg forward. And keep taking your leg all the way across your body if it's available so that it's crossed here at the thigh. Okay. Lengthen your spine. And we twist away from that top foot. Maybe the hand to the knee. Maybe the elbow to the opposite knee. Look over your back shoulder. You should be looking away from me. Take that twist all the way into your cervical spine. Tall spine.
unwind, coming back to center. Lay it all the way down. Nice and slow and controlled. Reach the arms overhead, long body stretch. Fingertips behind the ears, bicycle legs. You can keep the legs straight, grounded or hovered, or you can have the knees start bent with the feet on the ground. Back and forth. Slow and controlled. How many more are we doing, Ruth? Uh, five. Five. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Give yourself a hug. That was a good number, Ruth. Two. Rock and roll until you can come forward to have a seat. Maybe that's once, maybe that's multiple times. The class speaks for itself. Everybody's got their knees bent, basically. Let's take our feet into Baddha Konasana then, opening the hips. So for some of us, we're gonna hold on to the ankles where we get the most support so that we can find a nice upright posture. Others are gonna open the feet and then we'll all fold forward. Maybe a tiny bit, maybe a lot. Come upright, we have pigeon on the left to do. You can take yourself to down dog or you can just sweep the right leg back, make the adjustments that you need until you're ready to fold forward with the left leg forward. 10 breaths, 10 breaths. Settle in and focus on your own breath. Begin to come upright. I'm going to stay in our upright pigeon if it's available. And maybe play around with getting a hold of that back foot. If you have the foot, release it. We're going to sweep that back leg forward and all the way around. I'm just turning so I can face you guys all the way around and before you twist find that nice tall spine and then take your twist try to keep your tall spine as you find your twist continue that all the way through the neck and look over your back shoulder unwind unwind Navasana boat. This is our last, our last core. Last core. Down to canoe. Back to boat. Five. Ruth said we should do five. <laughs> Four. Don't let me lose track, right? Three. I got my fingers counting for us. Two. I don't know. It's something about being in the instructor. It's like you can't keep track. One more. <laughs> One more time up, all the way down. Take a long body stretch. Oh. Hug the right knee in towards your chest. Just the right knee. Mm -hmm. Release. 
least take a long body stretch again. Reach the arms overhead, reach the feet towards me, and then hug the left knee into the chest. Release, take a long body stretch. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Release your hug enough that you can bring both knees over to the right for your spinal twist. Maybe opening the arms like a T. adjustments you might need with your hips before taking your knees over to the other side, twisting the other direction. And then come back to center. Maybe you would like to hug your knees to your chest again or knees to armpits or take a happy baby. Whenever you are ready, release into Shavasana. If you're doing something that you need to complete your practice, please feel free to finish. Shavasana traditionally, lying on your back, but if that hurts your back, go ahead and have your knees bent or your legs can be straight. And you're just releasing control of your breath. Feel the breeze. Some of y'all feeling the sun. Laying in silence. Become ready to reawaken from your shavasana. Invite some movement into your fingers and toes. If you take any stretches that you might need as you begin to move your knees and your elbows. Perhaps turning onto your side and eventually gently making your way into a comfortable seated position. Take a deep inhale with me. Sigh it out as you exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Release as you exhale. I want to thank you all for coming and joining me in practice today at the park. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and with each other. Namaste.